remember my my grandmother by my father said I met her once and guys it was one of the most beautiful experience I've had she was 80 something And now for our featured presentation. Hi everyone, welcome to another our midweek uh, video. I want to welcome all our subscribers. Thank you for coming on board and for joining the, the Lee family. Yes, um, again we're going to encourage everyone else to do not like, share, and subscribe if you're for the first time. Please consider subscribing. And of course, feel free to share the video to as many persons as you wish. Um, again, we just want to be there to encourage, to give you a laugh, share our journey. And of course, we encourage you to share yours. Yes, um, leave a comment in, 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 in down below. And of course, you know, share any thoughts you may have on the topic that we will discuss. And also, if you have any topics that you want us to touch on and you know, hear our views on it, um, as we say, or if you're here for the first time, you're watching that we're a couple um, married for over 20 years, yes, as young as we look, um, and we, we, we're bringing our side to the, to the whole story and what we have experienced, especially being Christians. And so, we have no issues with touching on topics that you know, maybe some person will shy away from because we want to be as real as we can be and still show you that you can live for Christ being real, yes? And so you see the topic, and so we're gonna look at some things we learned, you know, after becoming mature. Um, some of the things may surprise you, some of them may be funny, some of them um, will just hit, hit home, you know? Because even as we look at them and we came up with them, um, we saw the topic and we thought, yeah, let's, let's do this. And we came up with what we what we thought would be stuff that we learned, you know. We it really came home to us that wow. Mm. So we're gonna get into it. I don't know if you have anything you want to. No, just a reminder to remember to like the videos before you go. Each time you watch it, remember to give it a thumbs up. Yeah, guys, the thumbs up helps us to be exposed more. And um, there's a thing called algorithm. You say that you know when. Then see the likes going up, then YouTube. So okay, these guys are doing well. Let's expose them to one person. So you're part of the team, all right? Our success is your success. So let's get right into it. Um, I made my list. I said, stretching from book. But ladies first. I don't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, so take it. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, one of the main thing that um. I've realized since you know I've matured, um, being mature, and well, basically being an adult, is that everybody will not like you, and that's okay. You know, you don't have to do anyone anything. You know, but over time, people get riled up when they find out that um, I've never done he or she anything, but they just don't like me for no reason. That's fine. You know, don't make it rub you any. Where really just accept the fact that everyone will not like you no matter how great you are so my one my first one um that i realized as i got mature time really flies um i know when i was younger and you see i remember when when i was when i was a little boy and i, and I saw men in my community that were like 36 and 40. And you know, I look at like, yo, the man the old. I can't believe there are some some young cells look at me say, call me elder. And though I, I in myself, I still feel young, he's like, me stop for a while and I say, whoa, 
Where did the time go? Because I remember when I used to call some guy, some big men in my community, you know, old men, and we say, whoa. So, yeah, time really flies, so you have to make the best of it. Um, and, and the only thing I'd love to have is a lot more information, you know, my younger days coming at me that would help me to, you know, sort out certain things and, 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 and be even more prepared than I was. Yeah, time really flies. Yeah, and um, another thing also is that you have to, in this life, you really have to be able to love yourself before you can love anyone. That's what I realized. As I realized that, well, when I was younger, I was oh, I love him or whatever. But the truth is, you can't really love somebody until you love yourself. That's just facts. Yeah, and, and that may, and it, it, it may sound cliche, but it should, but yeah, yeah, when you get to realize that what you and, and even me realizing more that what you really, what you put out is, is, is what you attract. So if you don't put out love, the love for yourself, you're going to attract the opposite to that. So it's a fact, it's a fact. Yeah. Um, one thing, another thing I learned as, as I became more mature, um, Learn all you can about finances. Um, no ideas. I mean, I mean, I think when I was young, I heard about stock market and thing, but uh, it was really a real interest. But when any point, one say, well, if you, for example, even uh, investing in some stocks and bonds when we probably was in high school, or whatever, and put, left it there and forget about it. I'm now forty-three, going on four. Find something. You don't tell it. Tell it. <laughs> um, and then now, imagine if I had some money in in, in some in a good stock like a separate or whatever. And 25 years years later, I'm able to look and see how the money or my stock has increased or whatever the case, and I could be prepared to sell or to, to whatever and make more money on it. So you know, I wish there was some more financial education that I have gotten. It could have probably helped me for put some financial um, stuff in place, you know, and be more financially strong. Yeah, I agree with that too. Um, honestly, yeah, another thing that I've looked at, and for me, this is a big thing as um, a child of God, I've come to realize that in um, walking with the Lord is not everyone that say they know the Lord really do. Yeah, and um, if at times if you're not stable and steadfast in the world, that can throw you off when things happen. So it's not everybody that goes to church are true followers of Christ, and with that, you at from time to time you may have issues with certain things that if you're not strong enough, it can really derail you. You know, stuff do happen and, and of a fact sometimes persons who come in who come into Christ and uh, don't allow him to take full control. So you'll find that those uh, as some as a preacher once said that, you know, your skin is your wood is showing. Because when the when, when God comes in your life he covers you with gold. But anytime thing you you start rise up is when that would know that, that God covers it gold begins to show. But it's a long ass story, but yeah, you get the sense. Um, another thing I learned was your mother's scolding was beneficial. As a child, I didn't like beating. I tried to avoid it, but when I got it, I got it. And, but it has helped me to be, um, you know, to be careful, to avoid anything that is going to, you know, put me in, in any trouble. And even though I still got myself in some other trouble, at least I realized it could have been far worse because a lot of the stuff my mommy would tell me about and school me about, it, 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 it was reverberating in my head and it helped, helped me to make better decisions. So, yeah, your mother's schooling really, really is beneficial. Even though it's about carpal punishment, but I, honestly, it scared the crap out of me not to go and do anything silly. So, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I can agree with that to some extent. 
um, discipline, yeah, things that your mother disciplined you about then, I don't see a lot of that happening now and I think it makes persons better. You know, however, at this age I don't really believe in beating, I believe in maybe punishments and so on. You know, alright, so my topic is my next thing that, um, yeah, I've come to realize is that at times, you know, when you go through things and stresses of life or trials or hardship are those things. It's not a crime, but oh, why me and all of those things and see my God I've forgotten me. No. I've come to realize that majority of the time, especially for persons who walk, who are walking with the Lord, it's to build character in us. Yeah, some of the stuff that we go through is to build character and help us, you understand, to grow. Yeah, to grow and to deal with situation and to handle circumstances and to be able to share with others and to encourage others. I will even go as far to say that I've come to realize that some of the things that we may go through in our life you know it have nothing to do with us but god is using us you know to be a witness to somebody else you know so yeah so sometimes you're going through some stuff just go through it there's a lesson there to be learned and if it's not a lesson to be learned god is doing something for the benefit of somebody else another one i've learned is the friends you start with may not be the ones you continue with um though i mean for example life happens some persons die some persons migrate some per and then even those who are probably new to you you drift apart and although as a child you remember these were like your best buddies and your best friends and you know as far as you're concerned you're gonna be friends for life reality check not necessarily um as life happens you meet new friends and some of the old friends you had as I say, as I say, they, they, they might migrate or whatever. I may not be that close, so don't be disappointed or feel in a way when some of the friends you started with may not may not be the same ones you have when you get older. You know what I mean? Yeah, they may not be the ones you continue with as you get older. Yeah, that is true. That is true. And um, sometimes the faster you realize that is the better for you, because sometimes you try to hold on too much. To persons and um, it can be um, painstaking so in growing and you realize that it's much easier for you to accept certain things yeah and um, yeah I also realize as well that you know doing this in this life doing the right thing it's a choice people may say um, I told how them grow up or where I'm live where I'm come from I think it's a choice because I believe that in every human being is placed um, good and uh, and bad. So yeah, are, the, are, are the potential for good. Have the potential yeah. for good or bad. And I think if it, you know, being good is a choice. It is a choice. And being bad also, most of the times, it's a choice. Yeah. Um. I think that is one of the one of the most powerful things I've learned, and accept, and, and even more so in my in my more mature time. That the power to choose is is awesome, and there's nobody that can stop you from choosing what you want to choose. And at the same time, your mind is so powerful that if you decide to do something, it will manifest. So, the power of choice is, is, is powerful, and so it is important that you inform yourself and decide what you want to do and what, you want, and what you're going to choose. Because whether it's good or bad, it's going to manifest. Mm -hmm. And so much time, things may, things may take a little longer than some, some of them, some things manifest quicker than some. It goes back to the power of the speech and the power of the word, the power of the tongue. You know, if you, if you speak it and believe it, it will happen. Yeah. And it's just as that simple, and so some 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 good things are ahead. Are ahead, trust me. And I mean, it's funny that you say that because my next um my next thing that I've learned over the, the years. Next one, my next one. 
Oh, you did it? Oh, you did it? Oh, I'm of, sorry. That's all right. I don't need to be sorry. Um, but I've learned to stick to your guns. Stick to your guns. Um, there, there, when, I, when I was small, I wasn't sure what I wanted to become. Um, using that as an example. Also, when as young as I was, I, I knew what I wanted in terms of um, I wasn't easily led astray. I was easily, you know, dictated to or told to do nothing. If 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 I feel to do something, I'm going to do it. If not, I'm not. Nobody can pursue me to do it. Um, I, at one point, my mom tells me I'm stubborn. Can I be so one of my ears or so, and one of my eyes or so? And it's a stubborn thing I got. Well, um, stubbornness is not a bad thing because when you know what you know and you believe and you accept the direction you want to take. It is good to, to just stick to your guns because at the end of the day, you can't have, there's nobody you can blame but yourself for how your life will turn out. There will be other stuff, to be honest with you, that will influence how things shape out. But again, as Michelle spoke about, you know, what was it? The power of choice, right? Yeah. You can change your future. So stick to your guns. Um, hold on to you, hold on to. Cause even a lot of time people try to influence you into going their direction but their direction is not the direction you need to go because you have your own innate direction within you that says this is what you want to this direction you want to go so stick to your guns and 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 you know take 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 yourself along the ride yeah i i agree with that also but what i was referring to earlier the your thing before this where i said there is power in um in, in speech, words yeah. in speech yeah, because that's what I have for my number six is our word is life. Right? Our word is life. And whatsoever you speak, it's worse if you speak it with passion and believe it. If it's negative, I guarantee you, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. So we should watch what we say, especially over our children. You know, from time to time, you have parents that say, "One, you come like a bad breed, poopo. Are you worthless, mother? You understand? All right, know that you wasn't gonna come to anything good. I can see it. You're not gonna come to anything good enough. I can see the traits in you already. No, even if you think that you're seeing certain things that are negative, how about turn it the other way? You know, bind those things and declare that the person, you understand, shall be above those things." Do the opposite because our word, you know, is, is power. Yeah. Another thing I learned was this: the sacrifice the parents made for for you prepared you or prepares you to make sacrifices for your children. Um, for those who choose to have children, because not, not everybody chooses to have children, but for those who choose to have children, I can look back at my life and see how my mother. In particular, my father was there, but not physically. Um, he was just there on a financial basis. And I still am grateful for that because there were times that mommy never had it. But how my mom grew me and and the sacrifice I saw her make, made, um, it just reinforces in my head how I need to ensure that my children, my family, um, you know, I, how, it, how I need to do what I need to do to take care of them. So if, so if I had to choose between um, buying a brand new pair of shoes and for myself rather than for my children, I'm going to buy the one for my children. If it falls in on my own, so be it. I'll carry on until, you know, put care on it if necessary until I can buy something for myself rather than see my children go without. Yeah. So the things I saw my mom did and the sacrifices, it just reinforced how I need to do the same for my children. Yeah. That's true, I agree with that. Um, yeah. And another thing that, you know, I've really, really realized, you know, since my turn into an adult, is that children really, really live what they learn. Yeah, they live what they learn. And their stuff, when I start realizing those things, their stuff that I realized that maybe, you know, that my mother maybe would have done in the past, that me say, you know what, I don't want, I don't want my children to grow up. You understand and do you understand these things and you have to make a deliberate act you have to you have to 
make a deliberate move to know so okay i'm going to try my best that you understand my children are going to know that at the end of the day you have to believe in you have to believe in a higher power you have to believe that there's more to you than just existing you have to believe that okay if you need something work at it and it can come through it doesn't matter what it is and you have to instill those things in them you have to teach them also to give thanks for the simple of things when you learn to give thanks for things then you learn to be more you know appreciative of stuff and then you learn the value of things and life within itself and to just to abide by persons um certain principles you understand if you want to do well on your exam it's not good enough to just wish it you have to literally study the work you understand and in studying the work you cannot bench make the gradually read and understand what you did yesterday and keep going over and going over so it, it, it it's embedded in you so and i mean some simple stuff but definitely you have to teach them the principle of these things another thing i realized was or is you can be yourself in a changing world yeah you can be yourself um you see, I, I, have, I have seen where the, anybody who has a sound character, you're not swayed by fashion or, I mean, you're, I mean, for me, I love to put myself together. But it doesn't mean that if, if certain things come in, for example, you have designer jeans now that cannot come, can't reach yeah, to your under your butt. I'm sorry, I, that my money will not be spent here. Um, you, you don't have to be changed by every wind will blow. That blows, You can right. stay steady, and when you stay steady and you have, you have a certain character, people know you for that. And not only that, that character that you possess and you're firm within yourself, it then opens opportunity for you because like attracts like. Mm -hmm. So if you are a firm person, if you're somebody that... Um, you know, believes within, believes in it, in yourself, and 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 is 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 uh, tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Then you find other persons that you attract in the same in the same light, and those who are not necessarily in the same mold, you repel. You know, for lack of a better word. So yeah, it is it is possible for you to be yourself in a changing world. Yeah, yeah I've always believed that, and I think that is something that I'm aware of ever since I've gotten saved to, um, as early as 15 years, that it's best to be yourself, not to so much be a follower of everything that you see out there. That's one of the things that Believe in Christ, I think, have imparted to me, that be your own trendsetter. You understand? Um, not because um, you hear, okay, this song or what have you, you have to learn it so you can sing it out just to blend in or as you say about the clothes and all of that as much as I'm a person in fashion I do still for the work that I do I know of what the styles are and what have you and what have you but when it's come to putting myself together is how I want to look and how I want to represent Christ so I agree with that alright so um, also love is not a feeling yeah yeah come to realize that love is not a feeling because if once you start believe that love is a feeling you're in trouble because it's not every day we get up and feel up there you understand and it's that every day you get up and feel all perky and all of that and you have to know that at the end of the day it's an action and it's a decision if you don't before long if you don't realize that love is a deliberate action and a decision you will blow with every wind and you have persons sad to say even as adults they don't fully grasp that it's not a feeling because they rush in and rush out the chemistry that they may feel for a particular person you understand they, they build their life off that and it's more than that and that's why sometimes you find out that some people have it hard to stay faithful and there is a lot of infidelity going on because if you don't mind shop and you leave yourself careless, you can be attracted to a lot of persons because we're human beings. But at the end of the day, when you understand what love is, that it is an action, you have to say, okay, you know, this is I care about the person. This is what I'm gonna do and you know, not do. And 
also a decision you have to realize that you made that decision and you're sticking by it because also it's a better decision to be made at the end of the day for your life not to be sway with your feelings like when you have some people say oh he's my soulmate because when i feel him my body shivered and like the butterfly feeling no if, if you believe in that you're in trouble if you live a life like that okay um another one i found out stay close to family and friends because people need people you don't need to seek a friend until you need a friend seek a friend stay close to people whether you need whether you need something or not you understand me because it's a journey life is a journey and you may need somebody at one point and at another point that person may need you so stay close to family and friends because pe people need people um, Jesus Christ himself being God in the flesh had, had three persons that were his inner circle now that he I mean he could have just not you could do without having them around but he exemplifies even how much it is important to to have persons around you for support mentally spiritually even physically yes so yeah people need people yeah and another thing also is that joy and happiness is two different things. As you grow older, the faster you realize the difference between the two, the better it is for you. You know, because I believe that happiness is like a feeling. You may feel up and down and all of that, but joy is when you have you have that hope within something that you're thankful about, something that gives you hope. You understand which is Christ my joy is it comes through Jesus Christ because that is something that the world doesn't really have any influence on it didn't give and it cannot take away versus happiness is like your surrounding you understand like depending on your surrounding to make you feel like chill or whatever but when you have joy then you're able to control even your very feelings you know so you can choose to be happy uh, on a lighter note, well, second to last for me, um, I realized mathematics was really nice. Or is really nice. Speak um, I, I, most of it, when I was younger, I realized I was focusing on getting the answer right. Or just getting the right answer, I should say. And uh, the last math teacher I had really helped me to understand that it is not the final answer that that really matters because the truth is um, the final answer is only one point so the, so the, if the entire problem math problem is five or six or seven points the final answer is only one point I, I didn't realize that so most of the time I try to get the right answer yeah. but naturally it's, it's the structure that matters and as I grow now and have to apply mathematics in my life I realize whoa this this thing is nice and I you I draw back on those um, things and principles I learned and I'm able to apply it now in, in, in everyday life so I realize that mathematics yeah. was really nice I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, that you know you see the way because my, both of our kids really love it as well my problem with mathematics is that I don't have a problem with it like in my everyday life. However, put me in a classroom, I'm doing fine until I heard, okay, uh, please turn, take out your math book. <laughs> and even when I was at pre-university and every other teacher told me, um, Mrs. Lee, you don't have a problem with mathematics. They just need to get over the phobia of doing it because they told me all of your structure is brilliant when you reach to the answer come into the answer for somewhere or another that's when um, my phobia kicks in and you can see the total difference and you know most of the time when I, especially algebra algebra and right that was the one so the, the teacher always told me you know um, if you should go now and do mathematics in spite of the fact that you said you don't go for anything, you would get a good grade just because of your structure. So what you have to get over is the fear when you're coming to the end of it, 
the fear of not being correct that it is correct and and they said basically you know what you need to do just do it by itself don't do it in any other subjects but right now i'm still <laughs> far away from it but everyday life is fine but hats up to those who really love it and again as i, I talk you know, over the years why is it that i have this phobia when it comes to mathematics i remember when i was um five years old and my mother used to teach me she meant well so don't be hard on her um she would take the belt and it's boop 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 you don't finish it before the general so it's as if i get this fear it's like that i can't explain it but yeah i get that fear like i'm in trouble mm. every time they come to mother mother but the, yeah. la the last thing i can i i i, I don't know if you, you'll be the last one but the last no. one i have i have is um laugh a lot yeah keep your smile laugh a lot um and of course, fi finding things. Oh, this was a, apart from laugh a lot. It ties in with this. Your peace of mind is is priceless. Your peace of mind is priceless. And the simple things in life helps you to when you are able to to, to, to appreciate the simple things in life. The rain that falls. Putting your foot in a river water, running up and down um, physically on a football field or a play field, um, just staying at the, at the clouds and looking at what the shape, the cloud shape like, if it's a bird or if it's shaped like an um, elephant or whatever. Appreciate life because, as I said, my first thing that says it flies fast, I've seen people who are old in their, in their old, old state and they are disgruntled. Disgruntled one, but they, they but they, but they, they, they're regretting how they live their life. Oh, they didn't enjoy. I remember my journey. my grandmother by my father's side. I met her once, and guys, it was one of the most beautiful experiences I've had. She was eighty something, and she was still able to string a needle and was sewing. And we sat, and she gave, she told me stories upon stories. And it was just magical, yeah. So, find things to be appreciative yeah. about. Um, I know there's a whole lot of things that go on war, shooting that go on in America. You know, my people that kill people. And talk to um, yourself too. But but if you need to lock off a TV and spend some time in quiet contemplation with the Lord, and or just appreciating life, yeah. And, and you know, and sometimes it's okay to talk to yourself. Like look yourself in the mirror and say, even if you don't feel the way you want to feel, and say, we're going to do good today. You know, like have a little pep talk with yourself. You know, some I don't. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I look in the mirror and say, you got this. If I have a lot to do and I feel depleted, I look in the mirror and say, you got this, girl. You've got this. And then I say, to the channel. I love you, love you. And I've learned that when I was at um, Garmex in the earlier days, yeah, um, Miss Robinson, Sheila Robinson, God bless her wherever she is at right now, you know, she used to say to us, there are times when we need to hug ourselves. We, we would be in a circle, and before class starts, we would, we would have like an affirmation where we would talk to ourselves, what it is that we love about ourselves today, and to, to just hug ourselves, and reaffirm to ourselves that I love you and those things and that's something that I carry over into adulthood it helps every now and then you got to do that so guys we again want and hope that this this helped you somewhat um, and if again as we normally tell you if you know somebody who needs to hear this because you heard it 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 it, it, it sparked something in you leave a comment tell us and at the same time share it share it with it with, with that particular friend yes um we appreciate the support um we're on our way up and um continue to, to like share and subscribe and of course share the video with your friends right and tell them about conversation with Elise. Yeah. and of course we look forward again to your comments guys all right yeah, yeah so um errol happy birthday to you um 
and well Newton I think celebrates his birthday on the second I think I'm not sure um Pam Pam Pamela Pam Le, winter yeah Pam the uh, fourth uh, no man hers is on the first uh, okay. I think it's the first of June um of course as you indicated that there will be some birthday right. videos coming up so look forward to that mm -hmm. right so guys until our next live which is uh, um we'll try to keep it steady on a sunday between um saturday 30 until that time or until this video upload we're saying god bless see you on the other side oh my god sweet so guys this is how my god sweet So our son sleeps. Yeah. Relaxation. Yeah, like, share and subscribe. <laughs>